Assalamualaikum students. Uh, the poem that we'd be doing today is The Addressing of Cats by T.S. Eliot. Now T.S. Eliot, as most of you are probably aware, um, was a very renowned poet of English literature. He has a very prominent position when it comes in the world of English literature. Now coming to the poem, the overall gist of the poem refers to uh, the psychology of cats and how cats primarily in their behavior are different from dogs. Coming to the text, girls, you've read of several kinds of cats and my opinion now is that you should need no interpreter to understand their character. So in the first four lines, what the poet is trying to tell us is that when it comes to cat psychology, we don't need anybody specially interpreting their character for us. We don't need as such that we tell Billy what is the character of Billy. You now have learnt enough to say that cats are much like you and me and other people whom we find. So he's saying that cat psychology is not very different from human psychology. It is very similar to you and me as in like human psychology it can be different um, in the sense that one cat might behave differently from another cat yet it is not something that one cannot fathom or understand and other people whom we find possessed of various types of mind for some are seen and some are mad and some are good and some are bad so just in real life as we come across people in a huge variety some people are sane, yani ke wo bilkul zehni taur pe theek hote hain, kuch jo hote hain wo powerful hote hain aur unka ek different kind of demeanor hota hai from the normal people, right? So jis tarah insaan ek variety mein aate hain, isi tarah what the poet is trying to tell us is that cats come in a variety as well. And some are better and some are worse and all may be described in verse. You've seen them both at work and games and learnt about their proper names, their habits and their habitat. So um, the poet's trying to tell us that most cats you probably observed at different places at work. When you go to work, when you play games at the evening, you probably come across them. And some of you will be aware of your So what you need to understand, girls, is... Um, that when you keep a domestic cat, yani ek paltu bili jab aap rakhte hain, a lot of people sort of name them as well. So this is what he's referring to when he says proper names. Their habits and their habitat. Habit refers to their set of habits um, as in like unki aadate hain. Or habitat refers to the place where they live. So their habits and their habitats. But how would you address a cat? So first your memory I'll jog and say a cat is not a dog. Address a cat, yani ke billi ko kaise bulana chahiye. This is what the poet is trying to tell us. He's saying ke first most important thing when it comes to interacting with cats is ke aap usko kaise bulate hain. So first he's saying ke memory mein jo ek baat aapne zehen nashin kar leni hai ke jo cat psychology hai is very different from that of a dog. Yani ke jo cat essentially hai wo dogs say physically to obviously different hai but otherwise psychology wise also is different now dogs pretend they like to fight they often bark more seldom bite but yet a dog is on the whole what you would call a simple soul so you think a dogs tend to fight they um, also uh, bark yani ke bhongte bhi bahut zyada hain but seldom bite yani kaatte kam hai but on the whole, if we look dogs, ko dekhe, they're simple souls. They're sort of simple creatures. There isn't much to them. Yani ke bohat ko in-depth characters nahi hote hain. It's easier to sort of interpret their psychology. Uh, of course, I'm not including peaks and such a fantastic canine freaks. The usual dog about the town is much inclined to play the clown. Peaks refers to a certain specific kind of short-legged dog. It's a Chinese breed of dog girls. And canine refers to the special sharp teeth which um, are hain towards um, the corners of your mouth also. Canines are all but obviously dogs are hote. They have sort of sapper canines. Canine freaks is referring to is referring to the dogs. 
सो जो द यूजल टॉक अबाउट द टाउन होता है वो ही ऑलवेज ट्राइज टू एक्ट अ लिटल ऑन द फनी साइड सो ही टेंस टू एक्ट वेरी सॉर्ट ऑफ क्लाउनिश दैट वे तो यानी कि सिंपल होता है ईजी गोइंग होता है सो देर इज इन मच टू इट एस एंड फार फ्राम शोइंग टू मच प्राइड इज फ्रीकुंटली um undignified he is very easily taken in just chunk him underneath the chin so what is saying ke um when it comes to the element of pride uh he is generally not the kind yani ke bahut zyada jo dog hai wo bahut zyada rayud nahi hota hai aur usko marvel karna ya usko um uh, sort of charm karna itna mushkil nahi hota so basically dogs are easy to please This is what he means when he says कि a dog can easily be taken in and just chuck him underneath the chin. यानी उनको लुभाना या उनको please करना या उनके साथ दोस्ती करना essentially is way way easier. All you have to do is slap his back or shake his paw and he will gamble and guffaw. So um, all you need to do is just sort of give him एक एक थपकी सी अगर आप उसके paw यानी कि उसका जो आगे की तरफ का जो हाथ होता है उसके ऊपर हल्की सी थपकी दे दें सो ही विल सॉर्ट ऑफ जंप अबाउट एंड बर्स्ट विद लाफ्टर दैट इज़ वट द टू वर्ड्स गैम्बल एंड गफॉर रेफर टू दैट इज़ वो खुशी से छनांगे भी मारेगा और खुशी से इधर उधर विल गिव द इम्प्रेशन के ही इज़ इंजॉइंग वट इज़ डूइंग कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द पोएम ही सच एन ईजी गोइंग लाउट he'll answer any hail or shout hail or shout i'm sorry again i must remind you that a dog's a dog a cat's a cat so again like he's saying uh, now the past few about about 8 to 10 lines uh, students what you need to see is that uh, the poet is trying to differentiate between a cat and dog yani kya farak hai between a dog and a cat and what he's trying to tell us so far is ke cats are complicated animals and dogs are somewhat less complicated uh and he's saying ke bahut easy going hota hai dog and you just shout at him and it's very easy to sort of get his attention because a dog's a dog and he's a cat is a cat with cats some say one rule is true don't speak till you're spoken to myself i do not hold with that i say you should address a cat so um he's saying that you know with cats um, there is one rule that they sort of only speak to you if you speak to them all right so uh, and uh, when it comes to speaking here aapne literal terms mein speaking mein it means you, you know sort of unki interaction ke bare mein uh, he they are talking that you don't interact with cats unless they sort of give you the impression that they wish to interact with you uh and the poet says that uh when you address a cat you need to know ke wo uh they sort of resent familiarity unko bahut zyada manoos hona kisi ke sath itna zyada pasand nahi resent means they dislike they don't like i bow and take off my hat address him in this form o oh cat but if he is the cat next door who am i often met before he comes to see me in my flat i greet him with an oops a cat so he's saying that even though the test familiarity lekin meri jo cat next door hai main usse off and on milna pasand karta hu and i like that i think i've heard them call him james but we've not got so far as names before a cat will condescend condescend that means to become friendly or treat somebody as an equal this is what condescend means so he saying ke maine jo suna hai logon se it get ke logon se uh, about a cat mere next door cat jo hai from what i have heard people address him maine dekha hai ke uska naam james hai to treat you as a trusted friend some little token of esteem is needed like a dish of cream and you might now and then supply some caviar straps but by so then is again say if you want to please a cat uske liye phir aapko bahut mehnat karni padegi pehle to uski nafsiyat ke bare mein you need to know how exactly operate karna usko familiarity pasand hai nahi pasand hai but thing apart from that you need to serve the cat with some very nice dishes cavalry 
उसे पसंद है यू नो और उसको स्ट्रैट्सबर्ग पाए पसंद है अगेन दिस इज डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पोटेड ग्राउस पसंद है नो आई हैव गॉट द मीनिंग्स ऑल हियर ऑन द साइड गर्ल्स एंड आल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ योर बुक यू गॉट सो कैब दीज आर ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ डिशेस जो आप बिल्ली को दे सकते हैं इफ यू विश टू बिकम फ्रेंड्स विद दैम सैलमन पेस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल रेफर्स टू एक सैलमन स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ फिश और उसकी पेस्ट को कहते हैं पोटेड ग्राउस मी रेफर्स टू अ बर्ड दैट हैज बीन पुट इन अ बॉटल ऑफ बॉक्स एट्सेट्रा सो दीज आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू कैन गिव टू द कैट इन ऑर्डर टू प्लीज द कैट क्योंकि कैट्स सब के अपने पर्सनल टेस्ट्स होते हैं और राइट आई विल कंटिन्यू विद द पोइम इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर बिकॉज आई थिंक वी विकसीड इट सॉर्ट ऑफ टेन मिनट्स नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में हम लेटर पार्ट ऑफ द पोइम विद अ लिटल बिट ऑफ द ओवरऑल क्रिटिसिजम करेंगे Thank you so much and I hope you understand.